Hey everyone, my name is Sean and welcome to Geek Savannah. One of the questions I get asked a lot and one of the, the debates that we have is here in the UK, how can we actually notify police that we're going to be flying our drone and should we be notifying police? I see a lot of posts on social media mentioned around YouTube. It's something I've even mentioned myself. But if you're particularly worried, perhaps you could call 101 and log your flight on there. Well, interestingly, I had this conversation with the MPCC police officers who were recently here for their collaboration on the drone videos you've been watching on the channel. And here's what they had to say. However, hold on to after this chat because I've got some tips and advice and guidance on how best to secure your flight and mitigate any issues that might come up straight after this. So stay tuned for that. Um, in terms of reporting your flight to the police, so recreational flights, out flying as a hobby, uh, and uh, I'm going to dial 101 so that the police know not to come out to my to my drone flight if they get a call regarding it. Is is that the case? Is is that a good idea? Is it a good idea to report your all of your drone flights to to 101? Not at all. No. Um, you've you've got to understand where it is you're flying. If you've got um, concerns that other people may be curious or concerned about your flight, then yes. But well, that doesn't mean that by phoning up the police and telling them that you're there is actually your get out of jail card for any offences that could happen during that flight. Okay. So, so the answer is no. Don't don't overfill an already busy system just to say you're there, just because it make, gives you that reassurance of confidence that you've told the police. It, it that doesn't matter. Consider where you're flying. Is this going to impact? Is this going to cause attention? So if you're flying near to a prison or you're flying over a, uh, near to a school or another sensitive site, whatever that might be, just apply it again, common sense. Is this potentially going to cause other people that are completely unaware of what I'm doing to call the police? Okay. If so, maybe put a courtesy call in. Okay, so so the, the, there is no sort of magic wand as such. If if I dialed one hundred and one right now and said I'm going to fly my drone on this high street, I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, it's it's not going to be fed down to the officers that are on the ground patrolling that area because it's okay. just. A, a if if, if someone flight. then calls the police and says this guy's flying a drone and it's dangerous or they have an issue with it or or whatever that trigger might be to doesn't change whether the police feel they should come yeah. out, you're still going to come out just as just yeah. okay. An officer's not going to say okay, have you had a call to say this operator's flying here? Yes, we have. Okay, great. I'm still yeah. going out to speak to that individual to make sure that they're flying safely and legally and within the categories that they should do. So that call, that that information on the police log does not exempt you from anything at all. Yeah. It's just a, okay, you, you gave us a courtesy call. Great, thanks very much. However, I'm still coming out now because I'm going to apply these pieces of legislation to find out whether you are flying in the, in the rules so it, 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 it's 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 not an active log as such it isn't if if, if i call and you know oh, oh please can i have a crime number or whatever etc and that type of thing it isn't suddenly um you know a, a, a mrs smith from just down the road calls up and says i'm worried about this drone um that that system uh the, the the call handling system won't look down the list and say oh actually no we know there's um sean's called and he said he's flying his drone on that high street you might get an instant number and so you know the operator might go here, officer, is my instant number. Okay, my my personal interaction would be, okay, what's that telling me? You phoned up the police. Great. Why did you phone the police? Uh, because I was concerned of uh, where I was flying. Okay, brill. Where you are flying, have you got this, this, this and this in place? Yeah, that, that's a bit. That so, last so, instant. Th so there's zero, better. there's zero impact on the interaction, on 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 the police response. Uh, on, on any part of it, essentially. So the, the really, for a recreational flyer, obviously commercial side of things, there can be specific scenarios, but they'll know that through their training, they'll know that through their ops manual, et cetera, when they should be notifying. A, and normally they're actually getting permission from those officers, not, not from, th th yeah. from police for those flights. If you're in an FRZ, you're going to phone for permission to the air yeah. traffic control, aren't you? You don't then need to tell the police that you're there either, because if the air traffic control have got an issue, they'll phone the police. But they'll also be able to mitigate and say, we are aware of X, Y, and Z in the area that it has phoned for our permission. Therefore, police will then get directly to the so, relevant person. So focus on the airspace, focus on the safety of the flight. If you're concerned about the flight, why are you concerned? Should that flight be taking place in the first place? And 101, as you say, it isn't a get out of jail free card, but it also isn't some kind of, you know, um, uh, 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 when I see these posts, I always, I, I almost imagine sort of Robocop searching through a database on his HUD of, of all the 101 code. I mean, how, how could they possibly get that information to officers, yeah. of, officers responding? It's for non urgent. 
Yeah. Therefore, it won't be answered urgently. It will be in a timely response. Yes. And then I'm not sure how it works here, but you know, if for large police services, so for Surrey, Sussex, they'll make 101, you don't even know where that call is going to be stored. Of course. Is it going to be relevant yeah. to yeah. that area? Yeah. So, and it's a huge amount of information, isn't it? I mean, to, 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 oh, to 101 that... takes everything on board. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's quite often you call handler will probably just be like, I have no idea why you're ringing to tell me. If I'm honest, yeah. because they won't be clued up with the legislation. Yeah. And again, if they if they actually put the question back to the operator and go, okay, can you just tell me why you're calling me? Uh, just to cover me back from what for what? Yeah. What are you doing yeah. that you need to cover the back? Well, it's just a courtesy. Okay, that's great. But why? Again, the question is, why do you need to then phone and have that courtesy call? Thanks. But at the same time, as as we alluded to before, be prepared that if you're in a position that might that's going to cause you to think, well, I better phone the police and let them know here, then make sure that you've got the answers to the most frequent, commonly asked questions by a police officer. Okay. Yeah, 101, it's not a dumping ground for calls. Um, if you are going to fly near a school, it might be um, a better option to contact school and say, I'm flying over here, it's very close to your school, the reason why I'm doing it is this, I'm lawfully flying, I'm going to be flying between these this is these I'm times. I'm, I'm recording over there, yeah. and these are my contact details. Yeah, excellent. Therefore, mm. you you know you don't need to bother the police yeah. if because yeah. it's likely to be the school that have concerns that will phone the police anyway. So if you've logged logged that in there, yes. then that probably will negate that. And then same with any other Indeed. areas you're going to. I, I suppose my my desire to sort of nip nip it in that this trend in the butt is that you know we we do have something like five hundred thousand registered operators with the CAA, and if everybody starts uh, calling one hundred and one to report their flight as a, as a matter of course, thinking they're doing the right thing, so yeah. no, no disrespect to no, those and, people and all credit because of misinformation, yeah. exactly. But we will officially say you don't need to do that. Yeah. Thanks for doing it. Yeah. But you don't need to do it. No. And it has no impact. Yeah. I think that's the most important part of yeah. it as well. It isn't going to help you, uh, whatever the outcome. Or it's not going to alter police reaction. If the police feel they need to come out to see you, they're going to come out and see you, whoever's, you know, even if they've got a letter from the Prime Minister saying this guy's flying a drone here, mm. if there's an incident to deal with, you're going to deal with it, aren't you, yeah, essentially? So, yeah. Yeah. so there we have it. The police themselves saying, actually, 101 doesn't really help us. And obviously, with so many more drone flies in the UK every week, it seems, at the moment, this will also use up essential resources that are needed for the frontline policing. So it seems the advice is don't call 101. What else can we be doing? Well, one thing that I do is I look to secure the location. So I check on Google Maps to see if there's anything sensitive in the area that I might be flying, schools, any particularly sensitive businesses, that type of thing. And I actually let them know either via email or popping there before the flight itself. This might seem over the top and it's down to everybody to find their own level that they're happy with, but that's something that I do. What I also do is I take my phone and I actually take lots of pictures, essentially almost like a panorama really, snaps of, of, of photos around the location that I'm actually flying from to show how it looked and what was going on at the time. It helps with things like proving later on what the weather was like, what the traffic flow was like, how many people were around, that type of thing. It's very easy for somebody else to get a complaint or to come along when perhaps the local school's kicked out and there's hundreds of people everywhere to be able to criticize your flight or criticize something about your takeoff location. That's just one of the ways that I do it. I also take a quick picture of where I'm actually taking off from and that type of thing. Again, this is something that I do to protect myself, moreover because I'm a YouTuber as well. So actually if any of my flights were ever called into criticism, I want to be able to fully prove that my flights had all the kind of mitigating safety in there as possible. So again, find your own ebb, find your own flow. But as it stands, as per the advice we've just had in that video, in that chat, don't call 101 to log your flight. It doesn't actually necessarily do anything either. Stay tuned to Geeksvana for more uh, drone content coming up very soon. Sean out.